for many of us, we take a lot of screenshots and send them to other people communicating about websites we're working on, projects we're working on, ideas we have. There are a lot of tools to take screenshots. Firefox has one that might be just the right fit for making it very quick and easy to take the screenshots that you need. Let's look at it. Here you can see up in the URL bar, this thing that's called the page action menu. It's these three dots. And if you click on it in here, it says, take a screenshot. And then we have a choice. We can do just the visible viewport or we can do full page. Let's say save visible and we can see that it does take a screenshot of what was visible. It doesn't take a screenshot that includes the browser Chrome or anything else that's going on in your computer. It just gets the exact web page that's inside the viewport or save full page. And you can see the entire web page for this really beautiful website. Really helpful for those of us who design or build websites. You can also drag and pick the part of the web page that you want to show. You can scroll even and make these crop marks be kind of exactly what you want. Mess around with them till you get what you want and then save or copy your screenshot. The fourth way to pick something is to hover over elements on the page. If you make websites, you'll recognize this. There's the image, there's sort of the wrapper probably that goes around that audio file and the image. And then here's the wrapper that goes around the whole card that this is part of. This is a really great way to get just part of the page without having to fuss with crap marks and try to get it exactly to the edges of the pixels. Uh, Firefox knows what a DOM is. It knows what all these elements are. It can help use those elements to grab exactly the part that you want. And I have two choices here. I can download the file, which is then going to put it in my downloads folder, or I can copy this image, which means the file is not going to end up on my computer at all. And I can go over to some sort of chat window or whatever, mm -hmm. and I can just paste it quickly and not have to worry about deleting all those files later. If you want to learn more about the Firefox screenshots tool, there's a page on the Mozilla support website that explains how it works. A few other details about the way you can configure it. There's also a page on MDN that shows you how to use screenshots from within the developer tools themselves. I'm going to make another video about that, but if you want to jump ahead and check it out now, you can look at this page on MDN. Otherwise, I hope this is super helpful for you that the screenshots tool is something that you can work into your workflow as a developer or a designer or a person working on websites. And let us know if you have any ideas about how this tool could be better. Let us know in the comments. Um, we're definitely keeping an eye on that. Uh, we want to hear from you so we know how to serve your needs better. There you go. Screenshots in Firefox.